Okay, I'm going to go through how I load up and uh, fly an auto land of 737, uh, PMDG 737. Uh, and I'm going from uh, KSFO San Francisco to KSEA Seattle. The first thing I do is to get my flight plan loaded up so that I can import it into the uh, FMC and I use FS Commander because it seems to do the best job for me. I put in KSFO to KSEA and then click on high altitude flight plan. Sometimes I have to adjust some of the uh, some of the waypoints and then s save the flight plan. The next thing is to set up the uh, weight and fuel and this is done in FS Actions in the FMC. Uh, you go up here and open the, it's called the CDU here, but open it up. Click on FS Actions, go to Payload. And what I do is I'm flying in FS Airlines and it nearly has that full, full capacity. So I set it for full and then subtract out six from first class and that puts it at the correct amount of passengers for my flight so you can set it up however you have yours then go to fuel and it's uh, about 18,000 pounds to go f uh, according to the F FS Airlines fuel calculator so I zero out tank one Zero out tank two. In the center tank put in 18,000 pounds. Click return, click menu. Now it's time to program the FMC. You can see my nav data is out of date, but I don't care right now. First thing I do is click on that uh, position initiate, whatever that stands for and put in the reference airport which is KSFO then click on route now we want to put in our flight plan and it's KSFO to KSEA and this is the one that was saved by FS Commander put that into CO route if it comes up and says activate, you know you got a good one. Click on activate. When this lights up, click on execute. The next thing is to go to and set your departure and arrival. And right now I'm at KSFO. And I'm at, gate at runway 28 right. So I have to click on next page to find it. There it is, 28 right. I'm not using any SIDs or STARS or anything, I'm trying to keep it simple. Click on Execute. Okay, click on Departure and Arrival again, because now I want to set my arrival. And I'm going to be coming in from the south, so I'll probably want to use one of the 34s, and so I don't forget, I always use the right runway if there's more than one. So 34 right, Execute. Okay, we got our departure and arrival set up. Now we go in and set our cost index, cruise altitude, cost index. You can pick whatever you want. I am going to use 70. I'm going to cruise at 31,000 feet, so I'm just going to put in flight level 310 and enter it here. Reserves, I use 3,000. And nice thing about the PMG, BMDG is to get the zero fuel weight and the gross rate. Just double click that and it calculates it for you. This lit up so we have to click on execute. Click on N1 limit. You can put in your outside air temperature if you want to. I rarely do. Click on take off. Flaps is 5 degrees. Put in 05. Center of gravity will be calculated for you. Just double click here. 
And to get your V1, VR, and V2, it's already got it calculated. You just click the button, click that button, click that button, and you're about set for takeoff. One important thing you want to check now is to click on the legs. You want to look for any discontinuities. And what I do is go up here and let me back out here a little bit so we can see. And I right click here and change this to, this will change to plan, PLN. And you'll see that the map changed. And now what you can do is click on step. And this will step through. See this CTR, which I guess stands for center, centers it on the map. I don't know, I'm just guessing. But this will step through your flight plan and see if any discontinuities pop up. And sure enough, as we get down to this one, we got a gap here. So you want to copy this one to this clipboard paste it in where the discontinuity is, click Execute, and that should take you all the way to the runway. And it does. There's the runway right here. So you're set as far as discontinuities in your flight plan. I can left click this, take it back to map. And um, the next thing, now that we've got the, the FMS set up, is to go through and set up our plane. What first thing we want is turn on the flight director, turn on auto throttle, and we want to set our speed to approximately 200 for right now. Somewhere in there. While I'm doing that, I usually put in three notches of flaps. You can see my flaps starting to come up. Next thing is to put in our altitude that we're going to be flying, Oops. which is 31,000 feet. I just sort of make my way across the top of the MCP, putting in everything that I need. All right, we got that. Turn this flight director on, and that's set. And for FS Airlines, we want the landing lights on. So I just go up here, turn those on. I also crank this down and dial in about five degrees of trim or five notches of trim. All right. One of the other things I like to do is to click on fix and put in our arrival airport, which is KSEA. This will give me my distance, 590 nautical miles. And I do this if you click 000 slash 20 put that into a radial and 20 000 slash 100 and put this in here that draws circles on your display down here and you can see when you're within 100 nautical miles and see when you're within uh, 20 nautical miles of the airport because that's when I like to do some of my functions and we're about ready for takeoff.